Good evening, everyone. At the heart of our understanding of the universe is the theory that just four forces govern everything, the strong and weak nuclear forces, the electromagnetic force and gravity. And the first three of those forces are central to what is known as the standard model of fundamental physics. But now an extraordinary result announced in April of 2021 threatens that whole framework and with it potentially the entire account of fundamental physics. Some have claimed that the experiment points to an entirely new force, something that is neither contained nor predicted by our current theories. Could this new discovery prove mistaken? Or do we have to bin our current theory painstakingly developed over many decades? Or might this be a catalyst for a radically new account that could change the way we understand everything from the forces of nature to the Big Bang? Well, here to discuss and debate those questions, we have a fantastic panel. Um, first of all, Rene Fatemi is the simulations manager for this groundbreaking experiment called Muon G2. As professor of physics at the University of Kentucky, uh, Rene is an expert in accelerator-based nuclear and particle physics. As Regents Professor of Physics at Arizona State University, Paul Davies works on the big questions of existence, ranging from the origin of life to the nature of time to the foundational questions of quantum mechanics. He is the recipient of the highly prestigious Templeton Prize for his work on the deeper implications of science. And he's a best-selling author of many popular science books. Chris Impey, is um, a professor of one of the largest astronomy departments uh, in the USA at the University of Arizona. He has over 200 scientific publications. He's won grants from NASA and the National Science Foundation. He's written several popular science books too, and he also regularly travels to teach science to Tibetan monks. So we're going to begin um, with the question, is this the most significant experimental result in physics of the 21st century so far. We're going to talk a little bit later on about exactly what this is, what the experiment found. Uh, found. But first of all, we're going to talk about what the, the real implications are for in the, the, from the point of view of the speakers. And we're going to start uh, with Rene Fatemi. So Rene, over to you. Oh, thank you so much, Philip. So thank you for the invitation and the kind introduction. So. This is a very interesting question because we have made some absolutely stunning experimental discoveries in physics in just the last 20 years, which is pretty impressive because two decades isn't an extremely long time in the world of physics. So, um, so two really recent discoveries that come to mind that I think are relevant for our discussion are the discovery of gravitational waves that, uh, that was long awaited, right? And, and con confirmed Einstein's prediction from general relativity. And then, of course, there was the discovery of the Higgs boson, so which was a confirmation of one of the core predictions of the standard model, which you refer to, uh, which is really, um, in some sense, the, the theory underlying all of particle physics. Um, so both of these discoveries were highly anticipated and eagerly awaited. So, and, and, and they confirmed foundational theoretical work. So it would be difficult to say, I think, that the G-2 result from Fermilab is more significant so I would instead say that, um, that it may be one of the most transformational results of the 21st century. And transformational because unlike the two discoveries I just pointed out, um, it's shedding light on physics that's outside of our current uh, theoretical frameworks, right? And so that's what's, that's what's so compelling about it. And um, so in particle physics, we've been living in, in sort of this um, state of growing dissonance, right? We, how can the standard model of particle physics do such a splendid job of predicting something like the Higgs? In fact, predicting every single particle and, and finding that, it, that, that, that that's within its framework. Um, and also doing such um, precision uh, predictions. So for example, it can predict to parts per trillion, accurately predict to parts per trillion the, uh, the um, magnetic moment of the electron, right? So, so how can an experiment, you know, a theory that is um, on such firm ground also be completely agnostic about the things that we know, right? That, that there's more matter than antimatter. Uh, how can it have absolutely no idea uh, where dark matter comes from? So we're living in this state of a, 
of, 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 of tension. And we've been living there for, you know, decades now. And, um, and it's just, and it's just growing. And, and so I think um, this experimental results, which will only improve in precision because we only released 10% of our existing data. And this result, which is of course, partnership with theoretical predictions, and they will also improve their precision. So these, these results will go forward and, and improve in, in precision. Um, I think what it's done is it's really poked a hole in the darkness, right? That's what it's done. It's given us a, a guiding light to where we can start to go to resolve this tension. And what's exciting is once you see one pinhole, often other pinholes come up. For example, there's this new result from LHCB about the ratio of B decays to mu plus mu minus and E plus E minus. It's a 3.1 sigma deviation. So it's not discovery, but it's something that's, um, that, that may be pushing us all in the same direction. And I can guarantee that the community is right now working very hard on, on, on following through on those leads as we speak. Fantastic, thank you so much. And uh, maybe we'll hear more about that other result uh, later. I hope we have time for that. Um, so now I'm turning to Paul Davies. And uh, Paul, uh, just to remind you, the question is, is this the most significant experimental result in physics of the 21st century so far? Well, like Rene, I had also picked the discovery of the Higgs boson and gravitational waves uh, as being a very hard act to follow. These are stupendous discoveries with great implications, uh, and they tie theory and experiment together in a wonderful way. Uh, the experiment we're talking about now with the muon uh, is something uh, that stands out uh, from uh, standard theory, the standard model uh, that you introduced, uh, Philip. Uh, and so it's in a different category and really only time will tell. The big issue here, I think, uh, for, for most theorists is, uh, is this uh, muon result a window uh, into some radically new physics, like an additional force, for example? Uh, or is it just telling us that we have to tweak the existing standard model, just make a little change here and there, and then everything will be good? Uh, we don't know that. It's too, too early to say. Uh, but what is very clear and has been clear for a long time is that there must be new physics beyond the standard model. Uh, Rene mentioned dark matter. Uh, most of the matter in the universe is not the stuff of which uh, you, me, and the stars are made. Uh, it's something else. Uh, we don't know what it is. The standard model uh, doesn't tell us. And we've known about this dark matter for really a very long time. So that evidence uh, quite literally outweighs all the other evidence. It stands out like a sore thumb. It's not the only thing though. Uh, for example, neutrinos, which when they were first proposed was uh, supposed to be massless, it was discovered uh, over 20 years ago that they uh, actually have a tiny mass. And that is not encompassed within the standard model either. So uh, we know there's new physics out there to be discovered. And what's frustrating is that the best particle accelerators uh, we have, like the Large Hadron Collider, for example, uh, is not really giving us a clue about what is going on, although it will get tweaked up uh, uh, next year. And so it may be that uh, some further evidence will arise from that. Uh, so I should uh, say that a tiny effects sometimes do lead to very great results. And the one that sticks out in my mind is the discovery that the laws of physics are not quite perfectly time symmetric. This goes back to the 1960s. Uh, just a slight discrepancy in the time reversal symmetry of the fundamental laws, and yet it opens up uh, vast new areas of inquiry. And so tiny effects can lead to big consequences. I'm a bit skeptical about the fifth force. During my career, there have been a number of fifth forces proposed and then didn't seem to go anywhere. Uh, so I'm sort of sitting on the fence uh, for that one. And I just finished by saying that uh, surely there will be consequences for cosmology. Thank you, Paul. Um, and Chris, I'm going to now come to you. And again, the question is, is this the most significant experimental result of the century so far? OK, thank you. Well, I think uh, all of us are in accord on uh, the fact that there are a couple of other uh, prime contenders. And I would, uh, you know, by a nose, put the discovery of gravitational waves as the most amazing discovery so far in this century. Not because the Higgs wasn't spectacular, but it's the Higgs was essentially closing the chapter on the book, the book of the standard model. It was, of course, keenly anticipated. It was a spectacular result. Um, and it, of course, hovered in this 
tricky three to four sigma level uh, detection before a second season of data was added and it was nailed. So it was another good sign that if you just get more data, you can eventually trust your result. Um, but for me, gravitational waves is, is more than spectacular because it's just an exquisite experimental precision to detect them in the first place. To continue watching this video, click the link in the top left or in the description below. Or visit iai.tv for more debates and talks from the world's leading thinkers on today's biggest ideas.